Hello everyone, my name's Debbie. I'm Mum Bear Stitchery here on YouTube and on Instagram and welcome to my channel All About Cross Stitch. I have a lot of projects to show you today. Um, I missed filming at the end of May. After I had ankle surgery, about two weeks later I got my stitches out, but then the entire scar popped open. I had an infection down at the bone and at the end of May I felt pretty grim. So today there's a lot of stitching in store because it's almost like a double, a double month or bumper episode. Um, so the best place to start is what I was going to show you at the end of last month, which was my ma stitch mania or animania as I did it, uh, wrap up. My initial plan was to start one project every Saturday in May. So that would be a total of five projects, but I only got to four. Um, but we'll start with the first one that I started. And that is a Rensiel Design Bothy Threads Kit. It was called He's a Fun Guy. And I actually stitched and finished this one within the week. And here he is. I loved stitching on him. Um, I used the kit Ada, which is 14 count speckled Zweigart. And I just used kit threads. But that is him. I love the colour. The That mushroom looks so realistic. And I can't wait to find a frame for him. So that was number one. That got off Animania to a good start. The second project I picked up um, and started was an old kit called Heavy Going Grizzly. It's a Janelin kit or Janelin kit and I didn't get as far on this one. I actually spent more time sorting out the threads from this kit because they were unsorted because it was so old. Um, but that's where I got to on that one. And I had to keep checking the cover photo to make sure that that was really because there's a lot of yellows and stuff like that in there. But I think it all comes together once more browns on the bear comes or is stitched in. And this one I actually switched out the kit fabric. Um, it was a white Ada and I switched it out for 32 count white Lugana. That was number two. Number three was actually my favourite of all my Mania starts. And this one is called Giants of the Sea. It was a sunset kit. And here is where I got to. And I switched out the kit um, fabric. It was a light blue Ada, but it was really old and crunchy feeling. So I switched this out for a 28 count Picture This Plus Arctic linen. And this one, um, it was called to be stitched two over two with all the threads, but I started stitching the black in the orca's tail, uh, not tail, fluke, and it was just too much. You could see the background. Um, so I actually went over the stitches with another leg of the black thread and then continued onward after that with three strands. And I really like the coverage now. And I did the same for the dark grey too. But the lighter colours, um, two threads was enough. But that's that one. I don't know if you can see the background. I've started it on the snowy mountains. I'm trying to work between the whale and then some of the background. And I'm going to leave this one out because I want to work more on this one this month. So that one's definitely my favourite. Uh, the next one um, was actually where I started to feel a little bit unwell from the surgery and um, so I didn't get much done on this one. But this is a kit called Owl and it is on 16 count black Ada and I just used what's in the kit. And there's a lot of black on black stitches so I have got a little bit more than you can see but I really wanted to start with his eyes. And this project is huge. This is a long skinny piece of fabric and it pretty much fills up that entire thing so I'll need to get back to that one and that's where I was supposed to do the Mill Hill butterfly but I didn't actually get to that one um, instead I tried to pull out one of my Whipco projects um, for me and one of those was Grey Skies by Stitcherobia and Emma Congdon and I'll put where I was before in here. And I didn't get much done on it, but here is where I am now. It's just big blocks of colour. Um, but yeah, I've left this one in the queue snap because it is one of those easy car stitching projects where you can just fill in 
especially where I'm now, I just need to fill in the H and the Y and a big chunk down here. And this might be handy for some of my stitchy plans for July, um, but I'll talk about those later. Okay, so after I ditched the whip glue thing too, I wasn't feeling it. I'd lost my stitchy mojo by that point. Um, oh, and did I say? So I have notes to actually remind me today because there's so much stitching. This one's on 20 count dub grey Monaco and it's stitched with CMC 2 over 2. Um, after I lost my stitchy mojo, I think the best thing was to, I was rifling through my boxes here that have all my projects in it and looking through the project bags and seeing if there was anything that takes my fancy to get my stitching groove back. And I actually pulled out um, Bayoun Cat. It's a kit by Owl Forest Embroidery. And I will put where I was before. And I actually stitched on this until I finished it. And I love working on this one. It's only on an eighth. It's not very big. And this is on 32 count printed linen. Um, it looks hand dyed, but it's printed. So it's blank on the other side. And I used the over dyed threads that came with the kit. So yeah, I can't wait to frame this one. I really enjoyed, this was a good one because each little section on the cat felt like a little win. Like when you got a tree done and filled in the bottom border. It felt like a little win, so it definitely got my stitch groove back. So after buying cat, I decided I just want to stitch what I want. I don't want to stick to my whip go projects or any stitchy group challenges or anything. I just want to stitch on what I want to stitch on with no goal really. Um, so after the buying cat, I picked up All Souls Veer Landed um, by Quiltify Designs, and I will put where I was before. I worked on this one only a little bit and this is stitched on 40 count silky by under the sea fabrics and I'm using gentle art thread called lagoon it's kind of like a green to teal to almost like a limey yellow and I'm stitching this one over two on 40 count and so I've just I filled in that bottom corner and I'm working my way across and I'm hoping to finish this one actually in July because this one's like a nice easy stitch because you're not having to think about changing colours, you just pick up a thread and stitch the motif. So that's that one. Uh, oh yeah, I worked on this one until um, I was watching the Colorado Cross Stitcher and she mentioned this new thing, Cross Stitch Camp, where the idea is to start and finish a new project within the month. And I tried. I definitely, I started. Um, I'm not going to finish it. Then I'm thinking, it's okay. Sometimes plans change, um, but the project I actually picked for it, I think I, I was ambitious anyway in what I picked, was The Birds and the Bees by Ink Circles. And here is where I actually got to. <laughs> this one is on 36 count Rose Merita by Under the Sea Fabrics. I am stitching this two over two with DMC 4522. And it's a variegated thread that's like purple and brown to black. But this, this project has been in my stash for forever. So I thought it was a good chance to actually pull it out, but I realized as soon into it, I was not gonna finish it by the end of the month and that's okay. But if you wanna check out Cross Stitch Camp, um, look up the hashtag on Instagram or go see the Colorado Cross Stitcher and I'll link the video below. But that's that one. And this project I'm actually thinking of doing um, one strand a day that's why there's one strand hanging from it i've already put one in today and just work on it till it's done just cut a length off stitch it in and we'll make progress on it and once that one's finished i'll swap that with another project probably something that's a monochromatic piece that i can just put the thread in without having to think and just continue working on it and it'll be done in no time every little bit counts okay after the ink circles, the birds and the bees, I thought, okay, I'm started out. I don't need any more starts after mania and looking <laughs> after I looked through all the whips that were in my box, I was like, you don't need to be starting anything else. But I did because I was watching Shan at um, Create, is it Creatively? 
actually looks like Craftivating Creations and I will link her video below and she is also a lover of Bothy Threads and Rensdale Designs and she is started the hashtag Bothy Threads Rensdale Designs Sal it's long <laughs> I'll link it below and the idea is to start a Rensdale design and um, divide it into six parts and was it start start on the 20th of June and finish by the next the 20th of the next month ready to start your next section so I did that if you if you understand that um, I picked sunshine um, it's a duck and mine's is actually in the you can buy it as a kit now too but mine's is actually in the Rensdale design calendar that came with the world cross stitching magazine um, September 2016 to December 2017 and it has actually six charts in it all these ones on the cover I've had this one for forever and so I started this one and I finished last night my first section and I behind it I finished up one of the sunflowers and I think because it has to be in six parts I'm going to stitch a sunflower each month and save the duck for last because he's the prettiest so that's that one and this is on 32 count light blue Lugano by Zweigart I picked up at one two three stitch and I will link Sean's video below where you can check out the details if you have a rain seal in your stash that even if you started it, if you divide it into six parts, just stitch along and use the hashtag and you'll see other pretty designs um, in that collection. Um, well, that's all the stitching I actually have. Um, I got through that pretty quickly. So hopefully this video is not going to be as long as I thought. Um, I'll clear this up and I'll come back to you and show you all the plans that I have for next month because it is a big stitchy month for me. I'm back. I've gathered more stitchy things. Um, starting this Saturday, before we even get to July stitching, um, starting this Saturday, the Facebook group um, Full Coverage Fanatics are having a stitching event. Um, it's called the 2021 Tour de France event. And if you're in the group, if you go to the file section, you can download the calendar. And the idea is to stitch the amount of each stage. You pick firstly your jersey that you want to stitch and I'm going for yellow so I'm stitching all the stages but there's easier versions with the green and the polka dot jersey um, but I'm going big and the total will be 3,418 stitches if I complete it and the project I picked for this was actually Winter Cabin it's a Dimensions Gold Kit and this is where I am now and where I'm starting from. Um, I'm hoping to get some of this snow around here filled in and start working on the cabin roof. Um, I'm using the kit fabric and floss but I really would like to finish this one this year. It's a big goal but I can try or at least make a dent in it and so yeah 3418 stitches should be getting me pretty far and the places like in the around the trees the sky is actually half stitches so I will double those up to get towards my goal but that is where I'll be started from and that starts on Saturday so I think you can play catch up too so even if you see this and you want to start the event you can just play catch up and speaking of winter cabin I actually have a giveaway uh, I tried to give this away before um, but the winner when I eventually got hold of them had already bought it um, so they said just give it away again and I think I put it away in my stash because I actually found it when I was cleaning out my kits. Um, yeah, I put it away, out of the way, and out of sight, out of mind. So I'd like to give this one away again. Um, it's a full kit, unopened. Um, if you'd like to win this, um, be, please be a subscriber, like the video, and use the word cabin in the comment. And I will draw a winner on, well, I'll give you till Monday the 26th of July. And I'll draw it on the Tuesday to give everybody in different time zones a chance. Um, yeah, don't say giveaway. Please be over 18 so you can give me your address. And I'd like to finally get this out to someone. So if you'd like to stitch winter cabin too, put cabin in your comments. Save that. Okay, I have some also in July. So July now. I have some virtual 
stitching retreats that I'm going to be going to. Um, both are by the Black Needle Society. Um, these will be my first boxes that I've ever bought from them and you buy them months in advance. Um, the first one is on the 8th to the 11th and it's Frogwarts Year 2 and it's a Harry Potter themed almost event. And there's stitching challenges and games where you can win points for your house. And I'm Ravenclaw and I've been assigned to charms class. And the ladies at Black Nails Society, their, their videos explaining how it's all going to work um, were fantastic. And they're making me very excited for it. And I actually got my box the other day with all the goodies inside it. And I will save this for next month. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers because some people haven't received their boxes and stuff yet and it'll kind of go with everything that happens next month. Um, but I have seen what's inside it. I opened it with my friend Kerry on the phone the other day because she's a Hufflepuff and it was exciting. Open up. I can't wait to use some of the things that are in here. Um, but yeah, it's a good size box and um, you get definitely get your money's worth. But this was the first box that I got from them. But the actual first one that I ordered was called In the Night Garden um, and I bought it because of the image that they put up and at first I didn't realise it was a retreat in a box, I thought it was just a box. Um, but this that actually is run the weekend after Frogwarts which will be the 15th to the 18th of July and that one seems a little bit less intense, it's more stitching based and they're still stitching games but it's more laid back. Um, so I'm looking forward to both and I'll give you my feedback next month because it will be my first boxes and that box actually shipped. So I will definitely show kind of what kind of thing you get in it if you're on the fence about buying one of the boxes or joining our virtual retreat, hopefully I can give you my feedback. Um, and speaking of other shopping, actually this is my, this is my Frogworks schedule of events and the stitching challenges, which I have to plan my projects out for still. I'm trying to use as few projects as possible to meet as many prompts and right now it seems I'm going to be working on Halloween at Hawkland Hollow a lot next month and if you don't have projects to meet prompts there's penalty stitches that you can do or you can work on the the pattern that comes with the projects that feed with the box because it meets all the prompts so it's going to be fun. Um, I, I have a little bit of stitchy shopping given this has been over two months um, I just put on like a floss tube making box and just leave it there till I show people. Um, but speaking of Bransdale designs, um, this was almost my start for the stitch along. Um, I got this for Mother's Day. This one's called Grow Your Own. Um, it's a kit by Bothy Threads. Um, I, my kids got me this one because we have two rabbits that are living in the garden and refuse to leave. Um, we've let her our grass die because um, there's a drought in Northern California. And so we've just let all the grass basically die. We don't water it or anything like that. So, but our neighbours have beautiful full lawns. So the rabbits leave our garden every day to go eat our neighbour's grass and then they come back. And I think they're using my dog as protection from like coyotes and things like that or the cats that get to be outdoors because um, he doesn't even chase them. He, they walk right past him. I think, they're, yeah, they're just using him as security to come back here at night time. But that's why I have this one, to remind me of the bunnies that refuse to leave. Uh, I also got some fabric. Um, I love this piece. This is Whimsical Winter. It's a Fort Cam Opal from Under the Sea Fabrics. I, I don't know what I'm going to use that on, but I absolutely love this colour. Another piece is from Be Stitch Me. I think this was a Friday night fight night piece that I won. And this one's called Ocean Depths. And this is a Fort Camp Even Weave. I was sorting out my fabric this week and I realized I have so much of this color. You can see this is <laughs> very similar kind of teals and sea glasses. I realized I have a lot of this color, but they're all slightly different. And this one, yeah, I said this one's an even weave. Um, this one is also a Fort Account even weave. Um, I didn't realize when I said me please that this was a fat half, but it's called Bronze Age, but it is a fantastic neutral. And I actually bought it for some with something in mind, but I think it's gonna be a little bit dark now that I see it in person. But can never have enough neutrals. 
especially when you collect teals and blues by the looks of it. Um, I bought this. Um, Threads Entwined in Northern California were having a chart sale and they're probably my they're an online store but they're probably my closest in terms of shipping so I always get things really fast. So I got Consider the Lilies um, because I've been looking at Jen Lee's and her mom's on Instagram and I had to just purchase it. I love all the animals on it. So that's that by Heartstring Samplery. I also picked up uh, Acorns by the Blue Flower. And this one I think I'm probably just gonna do a stash loss conversion and find something to stitch that on. This one was a last minute addition to my cart. It's called Safe Harbor by Hands On Design because with the discount, it was next to nothing. Uh, the other one I picked up was Coffee Quaker. I've put this one in and out my cart so many times and I don't know why. Um, so I finally just got it. And that was from Threads and Twined. Um, I picked up another chart under the Z Fabrics. Um, I picked up the Blue Flowers Wildflowers. I love this one, it's all stitched in DMC. I think I might put it on a dark blue. I'm gonna do a floss toss, I have some dark blue fabric. But I'll do a floss toss and see if all the colours would show up. Heaven and Earth Designs um, must have at some point had a sale because I printed out the cover photo and I'll insert a picture. Um, I picked up In Following Dreams artwork by Jodie Bergsma and chart by Heaven and Earth Designs. Don't know when I'll start it but it'll sit in stash until then. Have to have options. Um, I picked this up um, I've never used any of her silks yet, and this is called Galaxy. It's a 50 yard mini hank from Be Stitch Me. And yeah, it's super soft. I can't wait to try this on something. Maybe that new um, Ink Circles chart where it's kind of like reds and oranges. Um, one of her newest ones, like maybe convert it to purples and then this be the false color inside. That's my plan, but I'm not starting anything. Uh, the last things that I picked up um, were from Chart and Creations in Canada. They do a lot of online full coverage charts, but if you actually go to their website, they actually do physical print copies too of non-full coverage charts. Um, so I've, bought, I've ordered from them before, um, but I picked up Bear Fishing, the artwork by Sue Coleman and the Stitching Studio. I love that one. And somebody on Instagram, I think it's the traveling stitcher, the stitchiness. I think that's where I've seen it so often and that's why I bought it. Love that one. And the, uh, the last two, um, I've been looking at Country Threads charts on eBay for forever. But the shipping is insane from Australia. It costs me like twice as much in shipping for the chart, for an individual chart too. Um, but I realised chart and creations actually carry some. So the first one I picked up was koalas and that'll look nice on some hand dyed and animal stitches on floss tube finish this one that's where i first saw the koala one and the second one was lots of lorikeets i love the colors on those and actually at edinburgh zoo where i used to work and um, we had a bird walkthrough and you could feed the lorikeets um, through there and they used to fly and land on you. So that's why I picked up this one because that's what I remember off the Laura Keats. And that's all I have for this month. Um, hopefully that wasn't too fast or too rushed. Um, yeah, we got through it all. And next month I will be here at the end of the month with another video to give you my feedback on virtual retreats and all the goodies from Black Needle and hopefully show you lots of stitching and have won lots of points for my house Ravenclaw. I will see you next month. Until then, um, please follow along on Instagram if you want to see some stitching before then. And otherwise, I'll see you next month. Bye.